Hey guys, greetings from Las Vegas. It's very sunny, but here I am in my hotel room at the Aria. You can see the Monte Carlo behind me. And uh, it's really sunny here, but this is the only place that my room won't get blown out by the sun. Cause see here, ah, oh, darkness. Ah, oh, now it's very film noir. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys the present I made for my sister for her engagement party. So I'm gonna take you over here and bring you down here. Here you go. Yes, those are bride and groom poop emoji slippers. I'll have given them to her by the time you guys see this, so I won't be wearing the surprise or anything. But yeah, this is how my family rolls. Cool. This is actually a better shot, but you can't see my face. But like, this is like nice, huh? It's huge though. Like I feel like I'm in the Emerald City mixed with Tron. The whole building's green and stuff. Like look at that craziness. It takes you 10 minutes to get to the street from this building. It's just, it's excessive. And it would be, whoa, look at that depth in video games. But in the real world, it's like kind of intimidating. So uh, that's me from Las Vegas. Going to do a little bit of Feedback Friday now because, let's go back to the light. Um, because there's no way in heck I'm going to be able to do it Friday morning after the wedding. Here I am. Yay, hello. Um, and uh, so I just wanted to thank you guys for appreciating the spirit of the rant on Tuesday. Most people did not go in the gutter with their comments. There were a few people I had to delete comments, the ones I saw. I'm afraid I missed a few, but a few people um, deliberately misgendered the reviewer of Watch Dogs 2 that I was taking apart, and that's not okay. Like, we need to be able to disagree with people's ideas without going personal. You guys know I feel that way. Most of you were very cool that way, so thank you for that. I think it's important that we disagree without attacking the person. The point I was trying to make, some people were confused, is if you have a link through to the bio and you only have a cartoon of the person, then it's very hard to get a sense of where the reviewer is coming from. And some people should say, some people would say it shouldn't matter, but I think we all know it does. We all kind of have our biases and I think if you make those biases clear, if you sort of declare them, it's easier for people to sort of go, oh, okay, you know, um, I, I can take this part to heart. I'm not gonna really, you know, my, my views don't align um, as much on this point. And so for the purposes of review, that's really important. And it was very gratifying that a few people said they actually bought some games in the past because, um, I, I, re I did coverage of them and, and uh, uh, they liked what they saw. It's important that that gets out there because obviously I can't compete numbers rise right now with um, some of the bigger YouTubers and some of the bigger sites, but engagement matters a whole lot. Uh, sometimes it matters more than raw numbers. And so, yeah, they're mostly Ubisoft games and indie games because they're the ones that give me games other than Microsoft. Um, PlayStation doesn't do very many first party. I think I'm getting The Last Guardian, so I'll be able to do that. But um, the selection of games, just so everybody knows, is less to do with what sort of I choose and more what I get. Because I feel like there's a certain amount of there's a certain amount of promotion in a review, no matter how scathing the review is, because people can see it and go, I know I've done it. It's like, well, I don't really agree with this viewer's point of view. This sounds like it's actually a fun game to me and I'd try it. So I don't want to get into the habit of going out and buying games and then reviewing those because once you do that, the publishing PR wings go, oh, she's just going to review it anyway. We don't have to give her a copy. So, um, Appreciate it, appreciate the support. Um, if you've got a favorite game company, tell them, give me games, sort of thing. You, you guys really do have the power. Um, should I do another pan shot of, of the, this is actually one of the better views from this hotel. I can't get over how giant this place is. Like look, look up, way up, it's like the friendly giant. Like, holy cow, it just keeps going. There's me again. Um, but uh, I guess I'll wrap there, short and sweet. Um, Momo Monday is what it is. Um, <laughs> it's hard to do feedback on Momo Monday because it's just, you know, a weekly dose of adorable and a little lesson. But I'm glad you guys like it. And uh, I'll do a video tomorrow for the patrons. 
remember, a dollar a month, and the way it works is you have to get uh, verified first, uh, and then like your your first month's donation has to come through, and then wow, that sun is bright and then you get access. But those seem to be going really well. People seem to really like them. They really like the format. And us uh, patrons are up. I'm almost at 200 patrons. So when I officially hit 200, there will be a little bit of a celebration. I'm like 199 right now. But uh, yeah, it's definitely working. There's been a significant uptick in people signing up to pledge monthly since I started doing patron only videos, so. Yeah. Okay, this is really bright and my eyes are watering. So see patrons tomorrow. See the rest of you on Monday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Out from Las Vegas.